So I'm here with the Spice Goddess, Val, and we're here at the Food Network Celebrity Stage. You're watching Get Cooking with the Stars. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Me. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about your experience today at, uh, you know, here at the Trade X. Well, I did a demo earlier. It was absolutely fantastic. You know, it was my favorite thing because I picked three guys because I believe in women should cook, men should cook. I believe in that mantra. So I had three guys from the from the audience. They came up on the stage. So they had to teach me how to make a perfect roti. Like I taught them how to make a perfect ram roti. So now they had to compete. And the winner would go home to my place and have lunch with me. Oh, so, lucky winner. I know. Okay. Three guys, three guys came up and they were, oh my God, they worked so hard. And I even felt so sorry because they wanted, they kept doing their roti again and again. They were like sweating, they were panicking, three guys. Yeah. So I felt so bad, so I even invited um, all, all three of them with their partners to come to a place and have lunch. So they all come in in a couple of weeks to my place. Yeah. So did you say that you, you think that men should cook and women shouldn't, or the other way around? Men should cook. We should mm -hmm. sit down and have a glass of wine. Isn't that amazing <laughs> when, when a handsome man makes you dinner and, you know, so glass of wine? It's so romantic. It's so romantic. Kidding? Yeah, I haven't had that for a month, so I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for a handsome man to come in. Okay, so you so you heard it here, the Spice Goddess. Oh, I, you know what? I'm sure they're lined up, darling. I'm sure they're lined up. So tell me. How about, how, how about whoever wins gets to go for uh, a nice beer and nachos with me? We'll do that. One of them, you don't like nachos and beer? I know. So tell us a little bit about your cookbook. This is so amazing. Well, Everyday have, Indian. I have two cookbooks, Everyday Indian and a Quick and Healthy Indian. The reason I brought this one because I'm cooking the recipe, chickpea recipe from, from this book. Mm -hmm. And the both books mean uh, national bestseller and they're both done uh, fantastic. And the recipe, my recipes are the top search recipes on uh, in the US cooking, US cooking channel in mm -hmm. the States. So yeah. people are loving the recipes and uh, it's great. So how did you derive the name Spice Goddess? Well, my daughter came up with that. I had nothing to do with it. Now people call me by Spice Goddess. I'm like, who, who are they talking to? <laughs> but it's me, apparently. Yes. So what are your favorite spices that you like to use and why? Well, that's, uh, that's not fair to ask that question. I, I, love, I love all my spices. Like, um, I love cardamom. Oh, OK. My love affair with cardamom has a really nice floral flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's used to make sweet, sweet uh, desserts and stuff mm. like that, so I love cardamom. It's very strong, isn't it? Uh, black cardamom is, not the green cardamom. Green okay. cardamom has a really nice floral, sweet flavor taste, so yeah. Mm. What is your favorite dish to cook? What is your favorite recipe in here? They all are my favorite recipes, yeah. They're all fantastic, but, but my no butter chicken recipe has been uh, one of the top search recipes in, uh, in all over North America, so you can uh, make amazing, uh, healthy Indian recipe in less than 20 minutes. So if you come on Get Cooking with the Stars Bell, what is it that you'd like to cook? And, and what celebrity would you like to join us besides yourself? Uh, and me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love them all. That's again, that's a tough one. I love all the celebrity chefs. Um, you know, Michael, huge crush on Michael Smith. Absolutely. He's always my all time. He even endorsed my book at the back. You know, it's right here. My chef, Michael Smith. Oh yeah. And I see John Bishop as well. And John as well. Yes, John Bishop. So. And we had David Rocco at Eat Vancouver. Oh, I love him. Yes. Loved yes, too. yes, you yes. See, see him, please say hi to him. I love him to pieces. Do you know Bish? I do. Yeah. I do. And I have you guys to... worked together at all? No, or? he's my competition. Uh -oh. No. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a lovely friend. Yeah. Great colleague. I love him to pieces. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's great. And so yeah. where is it that you reside then? You you flew in for the show here? I, I was in LA last night mm -hmm. and uh, I was going to be in New York today. But I ended up doing this event because um, this is close to my home. I, I don't do, like I do lots of stuff in New York and I do lots of stuff in Toronto. Not that often I get to chance to have my, with my own community. So I made major uh, travel plans to mm -hmm. changes to, to be here. So yeah. for all those novice cookers out there and, you know, these chefs that want to try, what would be a good starter, I guess, Indian type fare? What would you recommend? I think this You book, say the roti? This book is, is my very first one. Yeah. So all the recipes are, the roti is a really good one. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. simple. It's the flour and water. You add it, you mix it and you roll it and you just uh, on your way. And take a look at the roti. Look how much fun. It's going to turn into really nice fluff up. Look how beautiful this is. And it's all fluffed up. And here's the roti boys.
they're not looking, they're focused. So this is the roti. Perfectly nice, round, fluffed up roti. Made in a second. Thank you, thank you very much. Awesome, and so where did you get your love of cooking from? Where did, in family? Uh, I grew up in village, women cook, that's what women did. And I've been yep. cooking since I was six years old and making dinners when I was eight years old. So uh, I've been, I've made, uh, thousands of thousands of rotis so i've done mm. my fair share of cooking and making rotis yeah that's so <laughs> wonderful and so you'd like to join us uh for get cooking with the stars i'm in i am ah, in. Bring... What, what took you so long i you know what i don't know <laughs> we, you, the spice goddess you're gonna watch for her in an upcoming episode maybe with reiko mckenzie we're here at the abbotsford food show i'm laurie bell you're watching get cooking with the stars